Hello everyone and welcome back to today's Niji Sanji issues news, whichever one you want to call it. It's Matt Salvi and I'm here to give you some more information and we are going to start off with what is on your screen. Now we move on to Raziel Warmonic on Twitter who's saying not to add fuel to the fire, but since I was close to a member in Niji Sanji for a long time, I'm absolutely not surprised it's starting to crumble. I was vented to about a male me member of Iluna. Sorry, I can't remember which. This was a voice convo from over a year ago. That was harassing and guilt tripping new girls to the point that other members would go quiet or exclude them from their VCs. Yet management apparently did nothing and the members themselves had to self-regulate. This is believable. I was vented to during a whole AR fiasco about how childish a lot of Luxium especially were and how they went on a strike to protest the cancellation while trying to form meetings amongst themselves to discuss various things as merchants and sale cuts. If they self-organized meetings to discuss how they were going to demand things from management. Noir 100% played favorites to the point where he privately took Luxium to an expensive restaurant outside the city in a small town when they were all in Japan together. If true, this makes a lot of sense with Niji Sanji. There are countless other stories I can't recall, but a lot of times it would make me go, huh? To, due to the incompetency of the management and not even providing basic PR training for such a large brand, their livers have and always will be potential loose cannons because there is no structure. They play favorites. They don't know and don't care about how to run a brand. And at least on the EN side, they hire a bunch of young 20 year olds and let them loose with, in some cases, millions of eyes and accept them to just figure it out expect them to just figure it out i'll air out my personal grievances later i should also clarify that never intended to cancel the that they never intended to i should also clarify that they never intended to cancel the ar live thing from what i was told just postpone it all of luxium were extremely upset thinking that all their hard work getting flown out to jp getting dinners hotels etc paid for and recording songs was being thrown away Hence all the tweets and hiatuses around that time. Shu in particular was the one who was most upset since his, hence his extended hiatus. That's why he was refusing to stream. Please note that this was all told to me via one member. So I have no other perspective on stuff outside of his recountings. I'd also like to remind that projects often get canceled, postponed or redone for a variety of reasons in all kinds of work. It sucks this one is so public, however. Of course, like I said, take this with a grain of salt. This is a person recounting something that someone else told them in frustration. They could have been adding to the story. The person who told them the things could have been adding to the story. They can be embellishing things. We don't know. But of course, I like I said, I reported as I see it. Now, other people were saying, you know, my guy, half if half of this is true, you've definitely added more fuel to the fire. And she responds, it is what it is. Niji Sanji should be more responsible for the actions and mismanagement of their livers. I'm not blaming individuals outside of the one confirmed harasser, which we uh, don't have mentioned, which is strange that she mentioned this, but the company and how out of control they let things get with their own brand and characters then act surprised when they have to face the consequences of their own actions. Yes, that's one thing that we're all frustrated with. We are all frustrated with, you know, the fact that they don't take responsibility for a lot of these things. Uh, of course, Doki mentions that you should not harass anybody, even if there were harassers in there. Please don't harass anybody. And of course, let me know in the comments down below if you find these things kind of odd. If you don't agree with me, let me know down below. I love having these conversations. Next, is sure this is crazy, but like, is there any solid evidence? It just seems hard to believe without it. Nope. Sorry, my friend was smart enough to immediately delete all screenshots so he would sh show me and we were both terminally in voice calls together so we wouldn't discuss this stuff over chat. The only screenshot he didn't delete from our chat logs is this one about Zion's termination. That's about all the proof I have besides believe me, bro, pretty much, due to being good friends with this member at the time for over four years, working on various projects before and after Niji Sanji with them, but I'll talk about that later. And here is the little mention of she's has what Zion Lanza says. Hello, yes, I haven't blanked myself yet. I can't see the slack still and they haven't given me nothing. I'm close to suing their butts. So if we could join, it'd be nice, but I also wouldn't be surprised if they went, sucks to be you. And it says, at everyone react to this message if you're down to jump in a call on Monday afternoon. That is the proof, one of the proof that she showed, uh, that the person showed her about what was going on. And it is, like I said, hard to believe in some cases, easy to believe because of what Niji Sanji is happening. Uh, I just ask you to, you know, come to your own conclusions with that. I'll try not to add any specific conclusions to this because I'm trying to just report things as is. People go on to criticize her. In this case, Keten, uh, PVC Parfait, says the purpose of this leak is to get the friend Liver in trouble for NDA breach because he sacked her as a mod for power tripping and malicious stuff. Uh, 
this is a grown woman who is blank, you know, he basically goes out on her and I can't go even further in on this, unfortunately, because um, there is some self-identifying information, some doxing going on, as people on Twitter will dox each other when they get angry. Uh, people who are trying to defend Niji Sanji, etc., will get angry and sling uh, insults, as you're seeing here, which is not... Yeah, I don't condone this. I don't condone doxing. I don't condone any kind of other things like this. I don't condone just the... the you can S-talk all you want, but I don't condone it necessarily because it just leads to more toxicity, which is exactly what Niji Sanji has and exactly what Do Doki Bird does not want. Selene does not want the toxicity. Next up, we have some leaked DMs between Aster Arcadia and Scarlett Yonagumi, who this person brought out and said to anyone asking here, some, here are some leaked DMs about Aster. Aster has explained, why are you even hurt? I said that whatever we in VC, okay? The attention is then shifted to whoever joins. Same process happens where the same question is said, how was your days, guys? Someone appear, someone answers before me, and then the attention is set on them. Conversation keeps going. I don't want to interrupt. You tell me I'm too silent. Would you rather me constantly make random noises or cut people off to say something? If you're hurt that I told you that you'll probably forget this, I mean, am I wrong? You told me for you forgot what was even said last night. What's definitely not making me feel any more any better is the sheer fact that you purposely are ignoring me because you don't know what to say. And she responds, Astra, I'm sorry. I'm just overwhelmed by everything. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry I forget everything. I'm just overwhelmed by the messages. I don't know what to say to you. That's why I didn't respond right away. I'm not ignoring you. I just don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Asta responds, sigh. Look, my intention isn't even to hurt you. <clears throat> why would I? My intention is to let you know what has been bothering me, which is the whole VC issue and the combo attention sent catering. And the fact that when I'm at mid-sentence, I get cut off because someone joins, then the topic is completely forgotten. But if even this is too much for you, then I'll keep my distance in terms of personal feelings. Ask me how my day was or what I'm doing, how I'm feeling, etc. I'll keep it short and sweet and not elaborate any further. I'll just keep it to myself. Scarlett Yonagumi says, I understand. I'm sorry. I wish I knew how to act better in the VC to make sure you felt included. I care about you and I still want you to tell me things. Heart. And then she goes again to say, I'm sorry, Astra. I keep making you feel this way. Astra responds, I mean, is that it? Am I supposed to be like, oh, no problem, and just go about my day? I want you to legitimately understand how I'm feeling and me hoping for some form of change. But if that's not in the cards, I shouldn't have even said anything in the first place. Maybe I should just treat all of this as a job and not connect with anyone because my, my, it might bother them, right? Am I not going to get a response to this? He responds, it's like an, another day, I guess. Um, so now I'm being ignored for saying how I feel. Okay. I'll be sure not to be too personal again and just not tell you or anyone what's bothering me. I'm here. I'm available. But don't tell me to respond when you don't respond back, please. And then he goes, seriously? LOL. So you were purposely ignoring me. And it shows Skarl with Mr. Rias in a Discord call, it appears. Now, this has brought a lot of hate onto the person because, of course, Discord, call, Discord DMs being leaked is, number one, a thing that a lot of people don't like. Number two, it is something that, well, it cannot be verified independently. Like, it's not like Aster and Yonagumi, but like, yep, those are my DMs. They're not going to go and do that. <laughs> they aren't. And that's the issue with leaking things like this, because it could be very true. could be very false. You don't know. The internet is one of those places that people will take time to edit things, but also places where people will bring out things like this that happened. I think it was over a year ago that this happened. It was a while back, it appears. So here we have one person saying, if you think for a moment that this is real, you're effing crazy. This is the most faked thing I've ever seen. That's not Scarl's Discord PFP. Aster and Scarlet are also besties. So why the heck would they do this? Y'all just want to hurt the people at the bottom with, you know, the basically a quote retweet. Another quote retreat. Bruh, this is 100% effing and fake. Y'all want to seek attention just to cause trouble and ruining the livers. Leave them alone. Uh, we have this person responding. If you're a fan of any of these livers, you know the profile pictures of Discord are not that, according to this person at least. We've seen the profile pictures in the screenshots of VCs together or DMs. This is not it. You'll make them up and pick up on anything. For real? I have no faith in you people. And then here goes a big... I think I believe this is on VT. On slash VT on 4chan, I believe. People trying to prove or disprove what's going on. They're saying the Wayback Machine, December 13th, 2022, Mr. had the same profile picture in the time frame of, you know, the profile picture that was shown there. The silhouettes line up. Mr. Rias had it there. And the very, very blurry thingy, of course, because it was blurry when Mr. Rias, the Mr. Rias thing showed, had the similar 
PFP, the profile picture. December 11th, 2022, artwork Mr. Use, artwork Mr. Use for his Discord creator profile picture was posted. That's the same artwork. Everything seems to match up. Uh, November 23rd, 2022, Aster and Skrull's profile pictures line up because they were on a Discord call with Kyo. And yeah, uh, they all seem to show line up with everything. If Skrull or Aster is still suspended after this, it makes the leaked screenshots even more believable. So they're saying it can be believable because the timelines match up according, you know, because this was all in supposedly in December 2022 that all of this occurred. So they're saying the things might line up a little bit. And another proof that people were putting out is that Aster Arcadia actually does say Psy on it. Because some people were saying, oh, he, who the heck says Psy? Who the heck uses this type of language? Well, apparently Aster Arcadia during that same time frame, December 14, 2022, also said Psy. Of course, you can take this as conspiracy. Like I said, take it with a grain of salt. Um, and then people are saying LMAO, just doing this to bully Aster. And showing how things can be edited in order to make anything seem real. That is true. Things can be edited, so that's why, like I said, I'm showing all sides of the story just so you can make up your own mind on this whole situation because it is it is getting kind of crazy. Now, to add to this and kind of, you know, bring this all kind of to a close, at least trying to, uh, screenshots from VT, who is, who is a big guy who just pretty much goes into 4chan. He dives in where I dare not dive too far into. He dives in and shows us everything, uh, which I, I bless him for that because that is just a place I I and a lot of people don't want to don't want to go into there. So here's the thing. Let's assume it's Forge Anonymous is writing because everything is anonymous on uh, 4chan pretty much. Uh, the guy would have to, number one, see the leak, then decide to forge old communications within a suitable time frame corresponding with the mod's access. Then remember to look up the VODs from that time, which contain all the icons so he couldn't be found. Then he would have to make sure the icons aren't blurry enough when extracted to look fake, create the accounts, add filler above, compose the messages, add an edited one, for the sake of it, remember to download an old version of the mobile Discord app to display it. The person here tried, but by the way, but their phone was incompatible for whatever reason. Forge and add the emoji reaction screenshot and then add subtle blurring to the image to make it more authentic. All in one hour. Okay, let's say he is freaking Lupin the fourth or whatever. Fine. You'll have the ability and knowledge of how to do two niche livers type. So he would have to know like how they write, how they speak how they do everything here's what i still haven't figured out how the heck are you going to forge those timestamps this is a mobile app not the web browser this is why you have the old layout there is a time gap between 138 and 243 on the same screen the text isn't edited in an image it says yesterday you can't inspect element dude couldn't have waited one hour one and a half hours since it was posted within an hour so either saying because it is on a mobile app you can't do the inspect element thing and change things up as other people were claiming that they did. It lines up a little too well, they're saying. Of course, as I'm saying again, take it with a grain of salt. I have to mention this a lot. I am repeating myself. I am sounding like a broken record, but I don't want people thinking that I'm saying that this is true. This is just the information as I'm seeing it. Another one that came out from the same person from screenshots from VT who says, and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. That meme, that lovely meme, uh, Smash Mouth meme, I think it is. Uh, it says, if you use your eyes, it's pretty clear who the leaker is. In the message box, you can see that messages would be sent from Skarl asked to Aster. This means that the screenshot was taken by Skarl. Skarl is on a call with Luca. Why would she take a screenshot that would implicate Luca? Because she's obviously confiding in her coworker about being harassed. This screenshot was taken at a previous date and held in Luca's DMs for years. Why is it surfacing now? Because one of Luca's mods is talking about the bullying. It's abundantly clear who posted the screenshots to VT. If I got any of this wrong, just... I'm just a new, a dumb N, you know, thingy, new, whatever, uh, pardon me. Discord compression would apply to that screen cap and then wouldn't be using losses fill tools and the text over it. It would be very easy to catch anyone examining the compression. It's actually how another anon, not me, immediately shot down the image claiming it's easy to be fake. So people are, are screaming one way or the other. I'm not an expert enough to really say whether it is true or not. I'm just saying that right after this popped up, right after all of this stuff popped up, we have Skarl and Aster sending their hearts that have their, their respective colors and they retweeted each other's hearts. So what does this tell you? It could be that they are trying to, you know, quell the flames and trying to be like, this is fake. Or they saw that there was drama regarding them too. They saw that things got leaked, that they didn't want to get leaked. And they want to show the fans now that everything's okay. They aren't angry with each other. Everything's fine. Everything's going well. It's just, it, it, 
is what it is, unfortunately. But I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for being here. This is the Mad Salvi coming to you again with more news, more leaks, more everything you want to know about Neji Sanji's current issues. I appreciate you being here. Of course, comment down below if you have any comments on the whole situation. If you have any corrections, any issues that you saw that you want me to put a correction in the description for this. I appreciate you. This is me. And this is my opinion. Only my opinion. And uh, of course, my socials are down below. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to have something on your screen that you might want to watch. I appreciate you. Take care. Of course, join the Discord server. It's all down below. And have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye.